Let's talk about proton numbers, nucleon numbers, chemical symbols, and the periodic table. And let's relate all these concepts and bring it all together with the addition of the concept of proton numbers and uh, mass numbers. All right? First, I want to just kind of go through this general symbol right here. And this here is something that we can find on the periodic table. So this is just a general bit. If you look at any elements, you can see that it has a number on, at the top, a big number at the top, or, and then a smaller number at the bottom. And then it's represented by a symbol, a one or two letter symbol. This number at the top is what we call, this bigger number at the top is what we call a relative atomic mass. Now remember that the mass of the atom is compared to the standard of a carbon-12 atom. And so every mass on the periodic table is compared to carbon-12. The relative atomic mass is also known as the mass number or the nucleon number. Nucleon is an, a derivative of the word nucleus. All right? This X is the symbol of the uh, element or atom. It's noted by one or two letters. Remember that the first letter should be in uppercase. And if there's a second letter, it should be in lowercase. Okay? And then we have the smaller number. The smaller number is called the proton number. This number represents how many protons there are in that uh, for that atom. All right? The proton number is also known as the atomic number. Okay? So, let's get right down into how to relate the symbols on the periodic table to the structure of the atom and also determining how many protons, electrons, and neutrons there are in that atom. Let's get down to it. All right, let's first go on to hydrogen. Hydrogen has the symbol 1, 1. Hmm. So what you're saying is that, what we're saying is that the mass number of hydrogen is 1, and the proton number of hydrogen is also 1. That means hydrogen only has one proton, all right? Because remember, the relative mass of protons and neutrons is one, okay? So that means hydrogen has only one proton. So let's draw the structure of, atom structure of hydrogen. So we have one proton. That's it, easy peasy. But what about the electrons? Well, remember, atoms have equal number of amount of protons and electrons. So, you have an electron right out there. I draw these electrons because the electrons are around and outside the nucleus of that atom. So, this is the atomic structure of hydrogen in its very simple, simple form. And this is what's found in the periodic table. Let's look at another element. Let's look at let's look at helium. Helium has the symbol H E and the number on top is four and the number on the bottom is two. Now, this again is the uh, proton number, so since it's two, we know it has two protons. So we know that helium has two protons, all right, because that's the number that's given. 
but the mass number is four. Now, electrons don't play a part in the mass of an atom, all right? So that means this difference between four and two must be the amount of neutrons. So four minus two is two, so that means we have two neutrons. So how do we relate that to the structure of the helium atom? All right, here we go. We have two protons, and we have two neutrons, all right? And people usually alternate the, num the protons and the neutrons like this. So you have uh, protons, neutrons, neutrons, protons, you know, kind of like an alternating format. Now, how many electrons does helium have? Well, we have determined that we have two protons, so for any neutral atom, it also must have the same number of electrons. So there must be two electrons. So, I take the electrons and I draw two electrons, like so. Okay? That is the structure of uh, helium. And we can go on further to talk about lithium and uh, beryllium and boron and all this other stuff. But for now, I just want you to be able to relate chemical symbols and the atomic structure.